Well, hello, friends and neighbors. John, your whiskey neighbor here. Welcome down to the nook. It's Saturday, so we're going to talk a whiskey together, and I still got a few bourbons that we're going to talk about. Today, we're going to talk about Still Austin. This is a straight bourbon from Texas. I don't know enough about the story, uh, but I heard about this from my friend Mark at Whiskey Whistle, and uh, this will just be, you know, we'll, we'll pour it. Well, I have poured it. Uh, we'll nose it, we'll taste it, and give you some thoughts when you come back. So we'll take a look at Still Austin Straight Bourbon from Texas. Three, four. Thanks for staying with me. Um, yeah, as I said in the opener, you know, I heard about this from uh, Mark, Whiskey Whistle. In fact, he was uh, so appreciative of the spirit that I went out pretty much that week, found it here in Alberta, and bought it. I don't know enough about um, the producers of Still Austin. I know it's out of Texas. I know it's a straight bourbon. I've seen their mash bill, which I believe is uh, it's all Texas grain, so 70% corn, 25% rye, and I think 5% barley. Um, the label, I know, is a famous uh, Texas artist. Mark, oh boy, Book and Heart? I, ah, I'm going to mess his name up. But, uh, you know, I saw that that obviously famous for doing a, a significant number of works for, you know, Rolling Stone, Time Magazine, and he uh, is, I don't know if he was named the... the what was it? The Texan artist? I can't, like, artist for Texas? I can't, man, I should have looked that up. But it was fun to see that, that you know, it's, it's got a, a local artist uh, uh, featured on the front. Um, very proud of using all Texas grains. Uh, it says aged at least two years, so it could be really young. Um, well, it is really young. They wouldn't say that if it was any older. And uh, released at 49.2%. So I think that's pretty much all I know. But uh, let's talk whiskey. On the nose. Sweet and spicy. We've got uh, high sweet vanilla for me on this one. Like really a light sweet. Uh, and then some nice spicy cinnamon. Yeah, not too much cracked pepper. Maybe I expected a little more out of the rye. 25% rye. But it's more for me a little, little sweet. Sweet and sour. Spicy. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Palette is nicely expressive. It's it's um, a little bit oaky, spicy. There's still some sweetness to it, though. It doesn't run down a specific... Oh, yeah. I was going to say, it doesn't run down a specific uh, um, fruit, but it kind of got like a black cherry or a blackberry there, which is interesting for me. A really darker fruit. Sticks pretty close to, to, to a woody, spicy um, bourbon. Try a second sip. It is very, very good. It um, drinks well, especially for almost 50%. I know I, I, I kind of talked, I got uh, distracted by a bit of fruit there. I would say though that this bourbon isn't very fruity. I would say it tends to be into that, you know, woody, hearty, uh, cinnamon spicing, vanillas. I think it really does tend to stay closer to that for me. Maybe a little bit of, Grassy rye in there or something more like dry hay. It's for me. It is drier spicier woodier And I like that. This is a good bourbon uh, And I'm very thankful that mark uh, at whiskey whistle recommended it to me Well, he recommended it to anyone who was watching his channel, but I felt he was speaking to me glad I got it exceptional for a two-year-old straight bourbon um, It's it's a it's well presented and, and four stars for sure. This is solid bourbon. So I wanted to shoot it against, uh, you know, something of quality. And I, I haven't really talked to you recently, I don't think, about Russell's. But I have this Russell's uh, Reserve 10-year-old. 
you know, it's a little less, 45% instead of, you know, 49%. Uh, and, of course, the classic uh, rye, we're going to have about 13% rye in here instead of higher, um, like 25, which is quite a bit higher. But I thought, you know, this is a... This is probably a well-known bourbon, probably certainly more well-known than still Austin, and I thought it might be a nice comparison. So in comparison, the nose, this uh, actually now adds some rich cooked brown sugars, still higher sweetness. The Russell's for me is nicely dry, a little bit of spice as well. Let's see what I get on the palate. Cheers again. Interesting choice. I would not have pegged this, but now, because it was all about the wood and the dry and the spice over here. But now that I've, I've had a little bit of Russell's, this is playing a little more in a really nice, but oaky, more smoke, more char palette than I was getting out of the still Austin. So in comparison, the Russell's is coming up drier and oakier. Nicely done. And still Austin. Definitely sweeter, roasted nut almost, brown sugar. It's definitely come alive in comparison. Yeah. Wow. You know, after this comparison, because Russell's is solid bourbon, this still Austin has even gotten better. There's a slight bitterness playing on the end of this, though, that could take me either way. Hmm. In this sitting, I'll give the nod to still Austin. That is some really good bourbon. Nothing wrong with Russell's. Thanks for uh, dropping in, checking it out. Um, hope you guys are having a good weekend. Sorry the video dropped a little bit late today, but there were a lot of errands to do. <laughs> you guys, take care.